morning everyone it's Janet welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give me a like for this video and make sure you share my videos it helps my channel grow and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back to my channel welcome to a snow day vlog it has um, there's been a blizzard in southern Alberta Canada and it is cold and we got like I think it was like 15 inches of snow or something like that we got a lot I will insert a clip here that I took um, this morning of our front yard and how much snow we got and all the drifts but it's crazy they've actually they cleaned the highway the highway is perfectly fine um, it's dry and uh, weather conditions are good now we'll see when we get to town how the weather is going to be there um, see how the roads are going to be in town and I have a few errands to do so I thought once again I would bring you guys with me because you guys keep me company you guys keep me company when I'm doing my errands and it just puts me in a good mood to have you guys with me so I hope you enjoy it and we're gonna get an oil change done today on our vehicle we need to pick out a baby gift for one of my co-workers and we need to get our nails done because I had to cancel my appointment because of the snowstorm there was no travel allowed and it was absolutely a full-on blizzard so I had to cancel my nail appointment lucky I was able to get in um, today so I'm going to get new nails today and I'm thinking I might go with my wintry nail so anyways yeah thanks for joining me everyone and let's see what I get done today and <clears throat> our first stop is going to be to get an oil change because I was due at 126,000 and now my vehicle is 128,000 and you all know that my dad was a mechanic and hopefully he's not watching this right now and knows that I went over on my mileage for my next oil change so that is number one we are getting that done right now Alright guys, oil change is done. They rotated my tires as well too, to make the um, ones with more tread to the front. Stopped at the dollar store because I do have to mail a uh, UPS and I had nothing to put it in. Because for some reason Old Navy, I ordered two pairs of jeans for my husband and one came and the other one was a ladies size 16. So they didn't even send me like a prepaid envelope. It was a big ordeal. I had to email them. So they finally sent me um, a prepaid UPS sheet, but I had nothing like to put it in. There was no, um, there was no packing slip in it or anything like that. So I had to write a note, pack that up. I'm going to drop that off at the UPS, which is at the Staples here in Medicine Hat. I ended up getting a drink while I was at the dollar store because I never did have a coffee. For some reason this tastes like alcohol to me and I don't know why but it's silver ice it's a rock star pure zero and it has two carbs all right it has um, two carbs and then two sugar alcohol so it's zero net carbs for the whole can and 10 calories like what do they put in this stuff you know what I mean that's some, I wonder that sometimes because it's like there's literally nothing in it. That's an old Diet Pepsi that literally froze in here. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's all right. It's pretty good. But like I said, it tastes like freaking alcohol. And I don't know. I guess it's just that like sugary taste. All right. So let's go and mail that to UPS. And then I have to get some groceries. So I'm going to stop at uh, Sobeys. There's a Sobeys just right by here as well too. So we are going to get that done and then our nails is at one o'clock and it's 12 o'clock right now so we're doing pretty good for time all right so apparently staples doesn't do uh ups drop off anymore so i'm gonna have to go somewhere else so i'm just in sobeys right now and gonna pick up some groceries and this is exactly why we hunt like look at that that's not very much i don't even know it's probably over a pound 
unbelievable. This is my free hunt. 10 bucks for extra lean. And it's like, I could probably kill that in 20 minutes. All right, that is done. I don't know how or got away from me, but it's 12.45 now. So I am off to my appointment. It has started snowing again. So it's been a day, I'm telling you. I don't know, I just feel rushed today. Like I can't believe it's already one o'clock. So let's go and get our nails done, all right? All right, guys, I wanted to show you what I ate. I, this is These are the first things that I ate all day. So as you've seen, this is gonna be like dirty, lazy keto at its best. So I had um, an energy drink. And then at the dollar store, I usually like to get these. I think there was four or five in here. They're one carb per stick. Had that. And then I also had the smart sweets as well too. And that, that's my lunch. So follow me for more recipes. All right, everyone, I got my nails done. I thought it was kind of like suiting for this kind of weather that we're having, just little snowflakes and silver. I absolutely love it. Andy does such a good job uh, here in Medicine Hat. She's done my nails there. She's actually a good friend of mine as well too. We golf together on a golf league in the summertime. And yeah, she does her does nails there. And then one of my good friends, Tina, she does my hair there. So I forgot to book an appointment, but I am going to have to do that ASAP because I'm due for a trim. So nails are done. And we got to the UPS store, guys, to drop off that parcel finally, because Staples, I guess, isn't a UPS drop-off anymore. So we just came to the UPS store and dropped it off, so we got that done. And next, we will need to go to PB Mart. I need to get a new um, chicken, like a heated water bowl, I guess, for the chickens is kind of what I'm looking for. We're going to see what they have, so that's our next stop. So we are at PB Mart right now and I'm looking for some Christmas decorations because I heard they have like kind of that um, black and white the buffalo checkered stuff here. One of my coworkers said to look here because that's kind of what I want to do for our theme I think for Christmas time. So let's see what they have here. For every year this Christmas tree brings to us such joy and glee. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. I'm going to Superstore. I need to pick up some pork to mix with our um, beer that we got. So I'm just at Superstore. My husband just texted me. So we are going to go in and grab some lean pork. We found actually the, um, the water, the heated water for the chickens. So we got that. And now we'll just stop here. And then I think I have maybe one more stop. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the baby gift today. It just seems like I'm running around and doing so much. So we'll see. We'll see what we get done. So. All right. Gosh, I feel like I'm just like running everywhere today. And the roads are absolutely horrible. They have not like cleared a lot of the roads. So maybe that's why it's taking me so long to get everywhere. But I got the pork. So yeah, with a deer, when we butcher a deer, because the deer is so lean, you do have to add some ground pork. I'm sorry for the vibration this road, they haven't plowed it. Um, you do have to add some uh, pork and like the, the higher fat pork, ground pork, um, just to give it some extra fat because obviously if you're just using the ground deer meat, it's so lean that you will burn it because there's absolutely no fat in it at all. 
deer is very, very lean for those of you that aren't hunters or don't have venison. So we have deer and we also have elk as well too. Elk isn't too, too bad. Um, I don't think we add pork to our elk because I think it's just the, you know, just the right amount of um, lean and with a little bit of fat on it. So, um, but anyways, I picked up pork. It's like 20 bucks and you get like a big, huge, huge package. And that's all we need pretty much to process like one deer is just the one package. So that's done. One more stop and that is to get some um, shampoo that my husband uses. I have to go to like a special store, a uh, hair salon in order to get it. And uh, I think that is going to be our last stop. I don't think we are going to make it for the baby outfit. I'm going to have to get that maybe when I'm at work um, tomorrow. Either stop at, um, do some shopping when I'm at work at Winners and do it on my break or head over to Marshall's or something like that. Her baby shower I think is this weekend and I'm hunting so I won't be able to go. But I do want to get a little gift because she's such a sweetheart. She's so how are you guys dealing with this um, the virus that's going around? So our numbers have really increased lately. Um, so for the province of Alberta, we are, our highest numbers in a day has been um, over 900. So they have said that once it gets to a thousand that they might do a lockdown again, which is quite worrisome. Like, you know, back when it first started in March and April, we were having numbers like around like 300, 400 um, a day in the province of Alberta. And, you know, we did a lockdown then. And then we started implementing like the masks, the hand sanitizer and all of that, which I'm sure is probably around the world. Um, wherever you're watching this, let me know down below like where you live and what is going on with the coronavirus where you're living. Um, is, is it a lockdown? Um, is it just normal? What are your numbers like? Um, like unfortunately, I really hope that we don't have another lockdown. It's just, I don't think that that's helping, you know what I mean? I think people are just starting to get complacent now. And since we've implemented all these things like the masks and the sanitizer, I don't feel that it's helping. I think it just comes down to the people and exactly what they're doing. You know, over the course of Halloween, Thanksgiving, like we had Thanksgiving here in October in Canada. And I feel like, you know, there was still get togethers, Halloweens, there was parties like with the kids and stuff. So, and then Christmas is coming. Like, I really don't know what to expect, to be honest. And that's what's scary about all this. We're on our way home. That was a busy day. I don't know. The roads freaking piss me off. And I understand, sorry for my language, but I understand, like, they are busy. You know what I mean? There's lots of roads with the snowstorm that they had to clear and such. But, you know, there were some major roads in Medicine Hat that weren't plowed yet. And, like, they weren't nothing. And it gets very dangerous. Like, I don't worry about my driving. Like, I, I lived in southern Saskatchewan, and we have tons of snow. Like, this is the kind of weather that we have for six months out of the year growing up. And so that's how I learned how to drive. I learned how to drive in conditions like this, and it doesn't really phase me, to be honest. Like, it doesn't scare me to travel and to drive in these sort of conditions whatsoever. But, you know, for all these new drivers, and especially in Medicine Hat, because we do get a lot of Chinooks, where it's like we get one big dump of snow and then literally like two days later it all melts. And people aren't used to driving in like weather conditions with snow on the ground and you know, a foot of snow that they have to drive through. And it, it's other people that I get worried about, um, not necessarily myself, but anyways. Yeah, so anyways, that was a day. Like I got lots of errands done, that was good. And um, I'm gonna go home and make supper. It's about 20 after four right now. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do some meal prep, I think, for the week. I only have um, actually two days of work. I have Wednesday and Thursday of work and then Friday and Saturday we are going out hunting again. Um, so update on Jimmy's sunroof, actually. Um, we had that big storm and he covered it with a tarp and never drove it. So that was okay, it was fine, nothing seeped through or anything. And then we decided that we were gonna go through insurance and do a claim because um, the mechanical part of it too was just hooped, so we did that. So we made a claim, called our insurance on Monday, and then we went to an auto body shop that we go to all the time and uh, 
got a quote for everything to be fixed and they had to order some parts in so we decided to wait until probably December until after hunting season because we do kind of need a truck even though our insurance does include a rental uh, but I'm pretty sure that the rental company wouldn't appreciate us hauling beer in the back <laughs> and uh, so yeah there was actually damage on his roof as well too from the tunnel cover hitting it so hard his tunnel cover was totally ripped um, and not usable and the sunroof with the mechanism is all hooped so all that is going to have to be replaced so it's a good thing it won't affect our insurance premium or anything like that which is really really good because that was a concern um, but it happens the wind here like I said we just get really bad winds and that's what happened last week and uh, so we'll get that fixed probably in early December but where we went or where Jimmy went to the auto body shop they're super nice there. We've been going there for years if we've ever gotten into an accident or anything like that um, or needed something fixed. We've always gone there to Ted's Auto Body and Medicine Hat. And they actually had this, um, I haven't seen it, but Jimmy was telling me it's a collision wrap is what it is. And I guess it's really, really a good wrap and it'll keep like the moisture out and everything. So that's what they did on his sunroof some way, somehow. And yeah, he drove on the highway home because like I said, we live a half an hour outside of a major city and it stayed on perfectly fine. So that's good as long as it just stays while we're on the highway and during hunting. And especially with the snow, it's calling for more snow tonight. And as long as we can just keep the moisture out and get our hunting done, the end of November is when hunting season is over. So if we can just do that, get it fixed in December, then we're a-okay. So hopefully I'm not gonna have to like, you know, hold the sunroof the whole entire hour drive there and back to where we hunt. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, it was pretty funny actually. I ended up getting one of my deer, but I will link that video here. And it's our hunting vlog. And uh, it has some really good snack ideas as well too for on the go if you're commuting, um, traveling, holiday, anything like that. And that's probably, I'll do all those snacks again probably this weekend when we go because they were all like really, really good. Even Jimmy ate them as well too. So I will definitely be doing those snacks again. So make sure you go and watch that video. And I will catch up with you when I get home. I will close out this video, maybe show you what I'm having for supper as well too. We'll kind of make it like what I eat in a day, even though it hasn't been a really good what I eat in a day from what I've eaten so far. I'm so sorry, but I don't know. I wasn't prepared today, I guess. I knew I was going to town and I didn't eat at all, but um, that's just how it goes some days, right? So at least I wasn't going and eating fast food. I didn't stop at McDonald's. I ended up getting keto snacks, not the healthiest keto snacks, but still, you know, somewhat on track, dirty, lazy keto, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We'll talk to you in a bit. All right, for supper, I am going to have this um, egg burrito that I made. I just took one of the uh, low calorie tortillas and I just fried it up a little bit. I put some mayo and hot sauce and egg and some bacon. Oh, there's cheddar cheese in there as well too. I just did a meal prep actually it's going to be in one of the videos coming up so make sure you watch for that and i'm going to have that with um, coke zero and we'll see what i have for dessert all right so this was the um, chicken heated water feeder that i bought at um, pb mart it's quite large i didn't think it was that big <laughs> we only have two chickens but it does plug in so my husband is going to hook that up before winter time just so they have water because right now we just have it in a bowl right now so that'll definitely help they're expensive as well too that was like over sixty dollars but it's worth it and then i ended up buying this i actually never showed it in a clip but i bought this for um christmas time because like i said i'm gonna go with that i think uh, black and white buffalo checkered print kind of throughout the house so i'm not sure what i'll put in there i'll maybe try to find like some christmas plants i'm not really creative like tell me down below what would you do with this so it's just kind of like under my countertop right so i'm thinking to put some sort of like like fake christmas flowers in there not too sure i also got this at um winners and i'm loving this too this is so cute so once again the the black and white um checkered buffalo checkered so that'll be nice to hang on our stove for christmas so i'm gonna go with that and then i think i might go with the gold um like accent i have a feeling that i changed my tree to like white and silver though so we'll see maybe we'll just do gold and silver not too particular on that stuff 
All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know we had a lot of errands to do, but you guys always keep me company. So I hope you enjoyed it. And it definitely kind of turned into what I eat in a day. Um, I'll probably have one of my Ross chocolate bars, I'm thinking here to finish off the night. It is 20 to nine, so it is getting later, but I feel like something sweet. So I'll probably just have that to end off the day. I didn't eat very much today. I actually checked my ketones and um, everything and I'm in ketosis, which is awesome. So maybe that's why I'm just not feeling too, too hungry. I've kind of stayed in ketosis ever did since I've done that egg fast actually as well too. So I will link that video here. Make sure you go and watch it if you want to get into ketosis fast. Definitely worked for me. It was only three days. I was back into ketosis and feeling absolutely wonderful. So so thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you like my content and make sure you share my videos. It helps my channel grow. And thanks for watching.